Battlefield Hardline Preview. I just sat down and played the Battlefield Hardline beta, and, well, here are my thoughts. Overall, the gameplay from the beta is fun. There were two game modes I got to play, Heist and Blood Money. Heist is very hectic and involves the criminal team collecting packages from armor trucks and bringing them to another point to capture them and then escape with them. I personally didn't find this mode that amazing, but I did find Blood Money to be way more interesting. Blood Money has two teams stealing money from the center of the map, but what makes it fun is that both teams must defend their own vaults of cash that they have collected over time. Think of it like capture the flag, but with dollar bills, and with the ability to recapture the flags from the opposing team at any moment. While the gameplay is even more hectic in this mode, it felt way more strategic and fun to play. The game has got some really great and sharp looking graphics, just like Battlefield 4. It's got a good use of destructible environments as well, although still not on the same level of destructibility as you've seen in Battlefield Bad Company 2, but it's welcomed and it looks pretty cool. Much like the last two Battlefield games, the sound effects are top-notch. Even in this early beta, it felt very finalized and complete. The vehicles control very well even with a mouse and keyboard. Zip lines and grappling hooks are back again, last appearing in Battlefield 2 Special Forces. However, they're not really required to play this game, but are a great addition regardless. Zipping between two tall buildings makes for some fun, interesting tactical advantages. You have the ability at any point to arrest or detain enemies and question them on the location of their teammates. I was never really able to do this myself, but I got detained plenty of times, so I know it's in the game. Keep in mind, this is a very fast-paced moving game, so in the heat of the moment, it usually makes more sense to fire at someone rather than beat them up with a baseball bat and question them where their friends are. Much like the previous two Battlefield games, your character feels weighted down, which is only an issue if you prefer the feel of Call of Duty or Counter-Strike. Battlefield has more realistic movement for your character, and if you didn't like the past two games, well, it's still here. While on the topic of controls, while most of the vehicles controlled really well, I found myself despising the helicopter controls with a mouse and keyboard. So, like I've done with the other Battlefield games, I plugged in a controller and had a much better experience. Switching between the two controller methods was fine for me, but some people might not like that. Even though you have the ability to get to the top and inside of some of the office buildings, there doesn't seem to be much use of getting up there. All the game modes that I played focused on events taking place on the ground level. If that changes in the final release, well that'll be good, but as far as I saw in the beta, there wasn't any purpose for going up there. Oh, and motorcycles are back again, which gets you all over the map really quick. Plus, you can take them upstairs into the office buildings if you use the elevators. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but you can, so if you like it, there you go. Everything has changed, but nothing has changed. This still feels like Battlefield 4, but with different vehicles and weapons and game modes. So if you didn't like Battlefield 3 or 4, this game won't really change your mind. It still feels practically the same. But if you're a fan of those games, the chances that you're going to like this title are pretty high.